Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Mary Rose and my channel is called Just The I Loves. I like to create videos on grocery shopping, on grocery hauls, on cooking, and occasional life adventures like my cruise videos that I do once a year. I would like to do that more often, but life is busy and I do have a budget. So anyway, today is going to be a cooking video and everything that I'm cooking today is going to be in the air fryer. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to Target and I was looking at their frozen section and I saw a dish called chicken with shiitake mushrooms and chimichurri sauce. So it kind of gave me an inspiration to cook today. I did make a video or it's more like a vlog about two weeks ago where I went like regular shopping at Target and then I came down with an illness so I couldn't make the dish. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. But today this video is all about that dish. Let me start off by saying if you're new here, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell for future videos. Okay, so starting on with my video, I have natural sea salt to my right. I also have this chimichurri sauce that I accidentally found at my local grocery store because I was actually gonna make some kind of teriyaki sauce originally. But anyway, I did find it in the, I think, ketchup aisle. And all this basically is is parsley, garlic, olive oil, seasonings, and I think some pepper. I'm gonna make this on a video, on a separate video, but if you wanna make life easier, just get it at your local grocery store on the ketchup aisle. I also went to Target a couple of weeks back in that same video, and these are the same packages of rice that I did not use that day. But this is cultivated wild rice, and the other one is whole grain blend. This is already cooked, and I do want to heat this up. I can microwave this, though I'm going to try it in the air fryer for the first time. So hopefully it turns out okay, because this is the only rice that I have available besides my jasmine rice. I also have some chicken. I do have a big family, so that's why I cook more, but three uh, chicken breasts is just good enough. I also have this package of, what is this, baby bella mushrooms. This is not shiitake, but this is what I have, and I bought this as Costco as well. And I already used half the package because I tried out cooking the dish earlier. Well, I have an air fryer now, and that's pretty new, so I'm still kind of learning how to use it. So this is basically all the ingredients you need for the basis of this recipe. There is something additional I want to show you guys if you have the time to watch. But let's get started on cooking this chicken. I'm going to start off by rinsing my mushrooms. You don't have to do this. You can skip it all together and just rub them off. But I just can't stand the little pieces of dirt on them. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse out the mushrooms. There's a lot of dirt that came out of the mushrooms. Then set your mushrooms onto a towel and let them dry. And we're gonna set that aside. Next, take your chicken breast and we're just gonna slice it in half. My first uh, batch of cooking, I did slice it in thirds and I thought that was too thin. And you just wanna make sure it glides under your hand. So this is, a little thinner than I wanted it to be, it but it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So we're gonna put this back in here. I'm gonna actually dump out the extra liquid that I have in my bowl. Now all you have to do is add your chimichurri sauce and add your salt and let it marinate for 30 minutes. So we're gonna add chimichurri sauce. I like to add about a tablespoon per chicken breast. I have four chicken breasts in this container, so I'm gonna add four tablespoons if I have enough. <laughs> this is a small jar. You do want to leave a little bit extra to put on top when it's done cooking. Sprinkle your salt. And then we're going to give this a mix. There is already oil in this uh, chimichurri, so you don't have to add additional oil. If this was just dry seasoning, I would definitely add oil to this dish because it's going to go in the air fryer. You want to just mix this well so each side of the chicken has a little bit of that sauce. This chimichurri sauce also has some vinegar in it, so you can smell like there's a little bit of sourness to the sauce. And I was looking at other recipes for chimichurri sauce, but it seems like the go-to recipe is um, 
with chicken and also grilled, but we're gonna use it in the air fryer instead. And I wanna say this is an Argentinian dish. I'm gonna double check, but I thought I saw Argentinian when I was searching up chimichurri sauce. Okay, so that looks good enough and I'm gonna let it sit there for about 30 minutes. While our chicken is marinating, we're gonna cut up our mushrooms. And if they're small, I just cut them in half. And if they're a little bit bigger, I like to cut it in quarters. That one's a little small, so I'm not gonna even cut that in a quarter. You can just leave it big because they will shrink in the air fryer. Okay, so I can start cooking this now, but um, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. I did kind of cook it the other way around, so chicken first and then the mushrooms. Here's where we're gonna learn this together. I've never done this before. Now, this air fryer is pretty new to me. This is, I, I wanna say this is about three to four weeks in that we've been using this. And my family has been using this for their lunches and their breakfasts, breakfasts, breakfast. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is that I created a foil and this is gonna go into our air fryer and it's gonna create like a well gonna create a well in here and we're gonna put our rice right inside and there is extra space so as this air fryer heats up our food it's gonna be able to heat it thoroughly I'm just gonna loosen the packages so the rice loosens up inside and doesn't stay on the top when I cut the package so the package does say 90 second wild rice. So I'm assuming you just heat it up in the microwave for 90 seconds, but everything that I'm cooking today, I'm trying to cook with the air fryer. So let's see if this is gonna fit. Let's do one at a time, because I'm not sure. Again, we're learning this together. So we're gonna fit it here. I'm gonna try to spread that in. That kind of fits. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do this one at a time because it um, already pretty much fills that well. So yeah, let's get this started into our air fryer. I'm gonna take you, make sure that you can see the air fryer. And we're going to air fry this, I wanna say for three minutes. Let's start off with that. Well, okay, so it just heated up the elements and then it started to cook and then I heard popping as if I'm cooking popcorn. So we didn't need three minutes at all. I think we just needed it to heat up for maybe about 30 seconds. And when I mix the rice, you can see that there is some steam coming out of it. So 30 seconds, so not even a minute in the air fryer at 400 degrees is all we need. Okay, so I started hearing popping sounds again, so I took it out. And so I think this is good enough. Yeah, this is heated enough. Now I can put it into the other, uh, to this container here that I have. Just put that in there. This is a really, really easy cleanup. I don't have to clean anything. I just toss this in the garbage. I wanna say this has been one of my easiest dishes yet. I already made a batch this morning just to test it out. And this rice really makes it even easier. All right, so everything's mixed in. We can set that aside and cover this. So now we're gonna take our chicken and we're just gonna lay it on the air fryer. I fit about, I wanna say two to three pieces of chicken. The other batch that I cooked earlier today, I cut it into thirds, and so it was faster to cook. So let's see if this is gonna cook the same, and this is um, halves. One thing about cooking chicken is that you don't wanna cook it on very high heat, and you don't wanna overcook it. So I didn't air fry it at 400 degrees, I baked it for 350, and I'm gonna start it off for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna flip it for two more minutes after that. So we have 350. We need our time. We're gonna do 10 minutes and we're gonna start. Okay, so 10 minutes is up. 
You can see the smaller one is a little bit brown, but the bigger one is not. But we're gonna let this cook for another two minutes. The bottom is pretty pale. This might even need a little bit longer because it is pretty thick. So we're gonna put it back in. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bake it. We're gonna do it for just two minutes and start. Okay. All right, so the chicken on the left is definitely done. We're gonna set that aside. The chicken on the right, I'm gonna give it another, I would say another minute, but this one I'm gonna take out. All right, so here is the two pieces of chicken that we were just cooking. The one on the left is perfect, and I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna actually lay it right here on top of the rice. And then the one on the right was pretty thick. I didn't cut that evenly. So we're gonna give it about another minute to two minutes. All right, so I did have to roast the second piece of chicken for two minutes, and now the color is much better. So if you're cooking chicken, just make sure they're the same thickness. And so I'm gonna finish cooking the rest of the batch, and then after that, we'll get onto our mushrooms. All right, so the chicken is already done and all we have to do is just put a little bit more of chimchurri sauce on top just to keep that chicken nice and moist. But it did take me a little longer to cook this because I had a bigger batch. If the slice of chicken is too thick, you can go ahead and cook it for 12 minutes and then roast it for one minute. But if it's not too thick, go ahead and just cook it for 10 minutes on 350 and then roast it for a minute if it needs it. This is all that I have left of the chimchurri sauce, so it's pretty much emptied because I did use this for another batch this morning. You don't need a whole lot to put on top. And it's better when this chicken comes straight out of the air fryer and then you can just slather it with um, some chimchurri sauce. I would like if my chicken was all the same thickness. My first batch, I feel like it came out more moist because I divided the chicken breast into thirds. This one was into halves. So I would recommend doing that. And it does cook, it does cook a lot faster. Actually, let me spread some more on there. And if you don't like too much sauce, you don't have to put all, all the sauce like I did. Put some more in the bottom. I just want to finish up what I have in my jar. Okay, so that's how it looks like if you guys um, are wanting to know. It's mostly parsley, peppers, I think it's crushed red peppers and garlic and oil and then oregano and some other spices. So almost done. This is our final step for the chimchiri chicken. We're going to take our mushrooms and we're just going to put it in the air fryer. I tried doing this in batches earlier, but I'm going to be a little bit lazy and just cook everything in one batch. The first batch came out pretty good and uh, a lot of water does come out of here. It'd be better if it was single file, not piled up onto each other. We're going to air fry it. I thought we can go to 425. It can't. So, um, I'm going to see if I can just press roast instead, and I'm going to do it for three minutes. Mushrooms are done, and three minutes of roasting was actually the perfect amount of time for all of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and scoop them into our rice, or on top of the rice. Like this. Let's take our rice and our mushrooms, and we're just going to mix everything. This looks really good and that rice was so easy because it was already cooked. If you wanna elevate this dish just a little bit more, I have one more thing to show you. But let's cover this up. There's a whole bunch of juice right here in, in the pan of the air fryer from the mushrooms and a little bit of the chicken juice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a roux and we're going to add the juice with the roux and then we can pour this gravy either over the chicken 
or over the mushroom rice. The first batch I cooked, I actually put it right over the mushrooms, but um, you can also set this aside if you don't want the gravy on top of your rice and mushrooms. So optional here, we're gonna make a gravy. I have a tablespoon of butter on my frying pan. I'm gonna grab a tablespoon of flour and then just put that in the pot. We're gonna make a roux. Just letting this melt and then the flour to cook a little bit. We're gonna add the juices from the mushroom and the chicken. I'm gonna actually pour a little bit of water in here as well. I'm gonna mix all that together. You can use a whisk if you would like, but I'm trying to avoid washing another dish, so that's why I'm trying to just cook this with uh, the spatula. It's getting pretty thick here. You can add a little bit more water if you want. Let me cut this off before it burns. This roux is pretty much done. I'm just trying to mix the flour well. Okay, so we are done with our meal. We have the chicken with the chinchiri sauce. And then we also have the whole grain and wild rice that was already pre-cooked. And then we have our mushrooms. And everything was done through the air fryer. It's really quick if you have a smaller portion, especially the chicken or if you have a bigger air fryer. In addition, we have the sauce that we just made and this is optional. And you can pour that over your rice. I wouldn't suggest it over the chicken. I think the chicken tastes too different to mix with the gravy, but I think with the rice, it should be fine. Important note, anytime you're making chicken, make sure not to overcook it as chicken can get tough. Also, if you don't have or don't want to make chimichurri sauce, you can alternatively use robust Italian salad dressing and pulverized parsley to mimic the chimichurri sauce. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.